Hi everybody, I'm Coach Ali and this is Steph. Are you ready to lift your way to a stronger, healthier body? You've come to the right place. Lift is the home barbell workout series that's gonna help you reach your goals and take your fitness to the next level. For the lift series, we are using our barbells. However, you can mimic and complete the entire workout series with a pair of dumbbells too. Barbells are a universal piece of equipment and an excellent way to get fast results due to the range of motion, allowing for precise targeting of muscles and control over the weight being lifted. Lift series is all about smart strength training with barbells that'll produce real results. All you need to do is follow along to each and every workout in the lift series in the order that we release them. During our lift series, we'll bring you targeted barbell workouts structured to get you stronger, maximize your gains, and reduce your body fat in the shortest period possible. With LIFT, you'll learn essential barbell exercises designed to build strength and muscle whilst keeping your heart rate in your fat burning zone. Together, we'll also explore proper form and technique that will keep you safe while maximizing the benefits of each exercise. It's very important to make sure you have clear space around you free from trip hazards. Also have a bottle of water with you and take a sip between sets and stay hydrated. As per all workout series on this channel, the first 10 workouts are available to everybody with access to YouTube. Workouts 11 to 24, on the other hand, are available to channel members, which can be obtained by clicking the join icon and choosing your preferred level of membership. Now get ready to feel the burn and let's get fit together with lift. Today's workout will be a full body workout using your barbell or using your dumbbells at home as an alternative. Our full body workout is perfect for those who want to lose weight, tone their body and improve their overall fitness level. Our full body workout allows you to target multiple muscle groups in a single session. Now let's get started. This is a barbell get up, so it's a lot like a squat, except when you're at the bottom of it, you're seated on your bench. If you're not using a bench today, just use a chair or any raised surface that can withstand your weight without compromising your safety. You can see we're doing it with parallel feet and our legs are at shoulder width. They can be marginally wider if you like. When you drop down, you're sitting down as though you're on eggshells, so it has to be soft. I don't want you guys to crash down.
This is a bench thruster. So let's start in that seated position on your bench. If you're not using a bench, you can always use a chair today. So stand up upright using those quads and then finish off with a shoulder press at the top of the exercise. And keep the barbell close to your chin. The further you come forward, the more pressure you're gonna put on your rotator cuff. So let's avoid that. This is a really good compound full body exercise. This is a sumo deadlift, much like a Romanian deadlift, but we're doing it with our feet wider and our toes pointing out at 45 degrees. So compared with an RDL, you're going to feel this more in your inner thighs and in your outer glutes as well. Make sure there's a vertical drop of the barbell and then drive your hips forward and lift up vertically as well. Keep your back nice and flat and try to keep your neck aligned with your upper body as well. Yeah. 
This exercise is a Romanian deadlift, but we're adding a low pulse at the bottom of the exercise. So hinge with your hips, make sure your back's remaining nice and flat. Let's look for that vertical drop of the barbell. And then when you hit the bottom, let's put a little pulse in there before you drive your hips forward and work your way into that upright position. Make sure your feet are at shoulder width, make sure your toes are pointing forward, and make sure there's no hunching of your back. You've got to keep it nice and flat throughout this exercise. This exercise is a traditional barbell sumo squat. Starting with wide feet, with your toes pointing out at 45 degrees, when you drop down into the squat, push your knees wide so that you're engaging your sartorius inside of your thighs. This is a fantastic exercise for developing your inner thighs and your outer glutes, but it's also a really good way of doing squats because it's easy on your knees.
This is a combination exercise. We're working some traditional barbell squats and we're putting some calves raises at the end of the exercise. So start with your feet parallel at shoulder width. Drop down into a nice deep squat, making sure that you're keeping your posture upright. And then when you get into your standing position, work your way up into a calves raise and put a little pause at the top as well. So I want good range of movement all the way down. When you get into your standing position, I want you nice and tall on the ball of your feet. This is a barbell push-up. It's much trickier than it looks because you have to balance the barbell underneath you. So this is going to take really good core strength. You can see we're starting with wide arms and making sure our elbows are nice and wide as well so we get maximum engagement of the chest. Keep your tailbone marginally tucked in. And if you have trouble with this exercise, do it on your knees the way Steph's doing it. Don't give me short reps. Let's go full range.
This is a traditional barbell bench press. You can see we've gone nice and wide with our hands. We're dropping those elbows down nice and wide as well and making sure that it's vertical movement on the barbell with ample control, particularly on the eccentric component of the exercise on the way down. Make sure your lower back is nice and flat. You can always elevate your feet to flatten your back if you find that you're arching. This exercise is a bent over row. Start with your knees bent and the hinge of the hips, making sure that your back's remaining nice and flat. Let's lift the barbell vertically to your chest while keeping your elbows tucked in by your ribs. You can see we have an underhand grip and we're working full range of motion. So make sure you get all the way to the bottom of the exercise 
and then pull up steadily until you're at your sternum. Keep looking at the floor in front of you to keep your neck aligned with your back. This is a combination exercise. We're starting with a bicep curl and then we're working our way into a front raise. So start with your knees nice and soft. Make sure you're heavy on your hips. Try not to allow your torso to move at all throughout either exercise. Get good range of biceps curl without moving your elbows. And then when you're in that extended position, lift straight up, rotating at your shoulders instead of your elbows and go into that underhand front raise.
This is a reverse grip shoulder press. So you can see our palms are facing us. Our elbows are tucked in by our ribs and we're elevating from our collarbone all the way until we've got soft straight arms. Make sure your arms are parallel. Make sure your knees are soft and make sure you're not pushing forward with your hips as you elevate. Keep looking in front of you and keep your neck aligned with the rest of your body. These are barbell shrugs, but you can see we're lifting up and then circling out on the way back down. And this is going to prevent you from straining your traps. Where people go wrong with this exercise is they lift with their elbows. So make sure that we're not doing that. Focus on getting your shoulders as close to your ears as you can and then circle out. Knees are soft and there's no unnecessary movement in the torso.
this is a narrow push-up. So you could do this on the floor if you're not using a bench today, or you could use a coffee table perhaps. Make sure you're nice and deep as far as the range of movement is concerned, and make sure you keep those elbows tucked in by your side, so don't let them hang out. Look for that straight line from your ankle all the way to your shoulder, but keep your tailbone tucked in a little bit to engage your abs and to protect your lower back as well. This exercise is a triceps dip. You can see we're using our bench and we're staying nice and close to it. The mistake people make here is they tend to push too far forward with their hips and that becomes a rotator cuff problem. So let's try to avoid that. If you need to, you can push off your feet a little bit and get a little bit of assistance from that squat. So this will help you get through the whole set. Make sure your elbows are tucked in behind you and try to keep your torso nice and flat. So no hunching of your back. Thank you. 
This is a barbell weighted abs crunch. You're lying in that supine position and you're holding the barbell with your arms soft, straight, nice and vertical. And then your goal is to push the barbell up as high as you can push it. So aim for the ceiling, push the barbell up, make sure you've got that rolling action going as far as your lift is concerned and keep your lower back pinned against the floor full time. This exercise is a barbell glutes bridge. We're starting on the floor very similar to a hips thruster without any elevated surface. Make sure that your feet are at shoulder width. Make sure that you're weighted on your heels as well as your shoulder blades. And then squeeze with your glutes and drive your hips up until you've got a straight line from your knee all the way to your shoulder. Put a little pause at the top of the exercise so that you can emphasize the flexion in this movement.
All right, well done for completing workout 10 of the Lift Home Barbell workout series and progressing through. As per all workout series on this channel, you'll need to click the join button and get your channel membership in order to access workout 11 onwards. A $3 a month channel membership fee will get you access to all of our workouts in full and it helps us to continue to develop content to support your goals. We look forward to seeing you on Lift Home Barbell Workout number 11. And one last message from me. Thank you for helping make this channel the largest library of workouts on YouTube. We love and appreciate you for supporting our dream to help everybody around the world live strong and live well. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you very soon.